The last and easiest step is to put the plant into your tank. Hey guys, you will need your plant, a rock or driftwood, and some string. So the first step when you're doing this is you want to make sure your plant, my plant here is Anubias, you want to make sure your plant can fit on the rock or wood that you're using. Okay, so once you've figured out that it fits onto the rock, um, the next step is to find the location to attach the plant. So for me, on this rock, I don't want to attach it flat like this because then it would be facing sideways. So I want it on a bit of slope. I like this position right there. So once you've got that figured out, the next step is to get your string or you can also use um, sewing thread. And you want to cut out a, a decent amount, not too long, not too short. Um, and after you've got that, the first step is to go around somewhere on your plant and just tie a knot onto the rock or wood that you're using. Any knot will be okay, it doesn't have to be a specific type of knot. I just do the normal um, cross knots, I'm not so sure what they're called. So. Just a loop around and then I do a double knot so that it doesn't get loose. So just like that. Um, one thing you want to keep in mind is you don't want to tie, um, tie it down too tight because that will hurt the plant and you don't want your plant to die so make sure you're not tying it too tightly and everything should be fine. So after you've got your first knot, um, your plant should stay. Then after that, you'll just go around, go around the plant, um, around the leaves, just carefully, and so that they can stay on the rock be more stable. And after you've went around, you want to find the first knot that you tied. Use the extra string that's on there and then connect it again. So now you're going to tie another knot. And do a double knot so that it stays on. I'm just going through doing the normal, the simplest knot that I know. Yeah, not too tight. You just don't want to like choke the plants. Okay, and do a triple knot just in case. And if it takes a while to do this, you can get a spray bottle um, like I have right here and just spray the plant down. If you have a spray bottle, that would be good. You can see my plant is quite moist still. And then once you finish that, you want to cut off the excess string. So let me just do that right here. Okay. And that's it. So now my plan is attached on quite um, uh, firmly, but not too tight. And now I can add this into the tank. The last and easiest step is to put the plant into your tank. If you guys are new here and you're curious to know, this tank has just been set up and is not fully set up yet. And same with this tank. And these two tanks will be set up in the next few days. So if you guys want to help me and join me along this exciting journey of setting these tanks up, make sure to watch the first video up there and I'll add the playlist in the description below. So make sure you subscribe to this channel, give this video a share, and until next time, sayonara.